If you're not overly keen on Flux Face, or perhaps you feel the need for some more artistic styles in your generations, then I suggest you give Pixel Wave a try. The model card over on Hugging Face gives you all the details you need. It's a general purpose, fine-tuned Flux model, great for both art and photo styles. They suggest either 30 steps of DPM++ 2M SGM Uniform, or 15 steps DPM++ 2S Ancestral, but other combinations work too. If we have a look at the example images, they do seem pretty good. I love the rabbit, and the others look great too. Over on files and versions, you'll see a lot of files, but you really only need to pick the best one for whatever hardware you've got. Despite my 3090, I went for the 11.9 gig FP8 UNET file, as I tend to run Flux in FP8 mode anyway, so why download a bigger file? There are GGUF versions there too, so if you've got something like an 8 gig VRAM card, you'll likely find the smallest Q4 model gives the best performance. Nice, but how does it compare to regular old Flux? Well, let's take a look over in Comfy UI. Just to quickly go over the basics then of this workflow. To start with, I've got a universal width and height for all the images. As you saw there, I'm generating three images in each run. The new pixel wave model is of course the model I'm loading here, along with the better text clip model and the FP16T5XXL. For the first sampler, I'm using a typical split sigma setup with scaled uniform noise, which as we've seen in previous videos, typically generates a more detailed, less saturated result, which also better matches the prompt. The other two samplers are just your standard K sampler, one of which is using the regular Flux FP8 model. All very straightforward, so on to those prompts. What can this thing do and is it any good? To cut a long story short, yes, I think it's very good. However, one downside is that you won't be able to use any of your existing LoRa's. That means no 8-step hyper or turbo, so you'll be looking at around a 40-second generation for those 30 steps on a 3090. Still, those extra seconds are probably worth it, as you'll soon see. In this first prompt then, we're looking to get a photographic style image of Cleopatra. I've also stuck a couple of other random names in there, hoping to maybe change the face generation, but she should be in a deep underground lab with some strange plants and loads of TV screens. There should also be a white neon sign which says Cleo's lab. The first couple then and the next one are using the new Pixel Wave model. So we've definitely got the Cleo's lab up in the corner in the white neon. We've got the TV sets, we've got Cleopatra. And one of the best things is it, it's not so bad at the flux chin thing. It still does it a little bit. Uh, and she hasn't got flux nose either, which is nice. So I think that's a pretty good generation there with the split sampler. But let's go on and have a look at the single sampler. So there, once again, very good. I like those TV sets a lot. Cleo's lab, nicely in the background. Tiny little bit of flux chin, but overall a very nice image. And then back to the standard model. So yes, there, you've got the massive flux chin. Cleo's lab is sort of there, TV sets. So it's like it's a cleaner image. You're probably used to that sort of fluxy style anyway. But uh, yeah. As to which one I prefer, I don't know. Of course, the photographic style isn't really what I'm interested in here. It's all those other styles because Flux, well, generally just has two clean and clean photos. So this one I'm using a uh, cubist art style painting of a rodent vampire dressed in a black purple lined cape. So can it do cubism? Well, we'll find out. Let's go over here and have a look at the twin samplers. Not really. It's not really cubism, but it is a very nice image. That's definitely a painting. I do like it quite a lot. There's a lot of details up there. Let's have a look at the single sampler. Now the single sampler I don't think is quite as good, but it's still definitely a painting. And onto our more regular, yeah, that's, that's not even a painting, is it? So this is the problem that you always get with the flux style. It's just too clean. You might have noticed in those previous generations I was using DEIS, so this time I'm using their suggested one, DPM++ 2M. Once again, I am going for cubism. This should be a painting of a crowded, vibrant street at midday. So yeah, that's, that's not really cubism. It is a crowded street at midday, but 
The single sampler, oddly enough, I think has done very well. That's that's very good indeed. And on to our, yeah, no, that's that's not even close to cubism. Again, far, far too clean. Changing sampler once again. This time it's 15 steps on that 2S ancestral sampler. And this time I'm going for a 1980s style anime digital art, which has two people on it. Should have a Spanish woman on the left wearing black and red armor and an alien on the right with green skin. Taking a look at the double sampler to start with, and that's not too bad. That's an alien with green skin. There, she's sort of Spanish. She's definitely got the black armor. All right, how about the single sampler? Ooh, that's also very good. Uh, I think I almost saw, I think I almost prefer that one. But yeah, she's got the dials on there, the black armor, green alien. Very, very nice indeed. And how about the regular one? Yeah, yeah, it's not quite the right style. I mean, it's good, isn't it? It is very clean. It's very, very, very clean. But as to which of them is best, well, I've got all three examples there. Uh, personally, I do quite like the double sampler one, but I mean, they're all very good, aren't they? With a charcoal sketch style, hopefully this should have a large oval doorway powered by hydraulics and a garden path. Okay, we can see the, the sort of first one there from the double sampler, and I think it does very well. Let's zoom in a little bit. That's not bad. It's got the circular thing. Can't see any hydraulics, but it's got the path and the bushes. If we have a look at the single sampler, sort of, not, not quite on the doorway, but also very good. And back to your regular model, once again, far too clean for a charcoal style. Lots of models appear to have problems generating watercolors. So how good is this one? Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's not really a watercolor, is it? It's okay. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. I like his hat. I mean, it's following the prompt but the style isn't necessarily the full on watercolor style. Now that is a little bit better. Certainly the tree there. Okay, that's nice. And with our, our regular model, yeah, I think we've come to expect it's, it's nowhere near the style we asked for. Interesting, so hopefully that means we can change styles of things a lot more easily. So here, I've got a badly drawn crayon illustration of the Mona Lisa. With the split sampler then yes we do indeed i mean it's not badly drawn so, well sort of the the background is but you know if i drew something like that with crayon it'd be absolutely fine but that's that's yeah it's, it's done the style how about the single oh the single sampler starting to get a little bit burnt there but still very good as concerns the style and back to the usual model yeah very burnt because it's the mona lisa and uh, no, not, not even like a crayon style at all. Pixel Wave does seem to be doing very well so far, doesn't it? So how about we take its name here, a pixel art version of Girl with a Pearl Earring, but with the woman from American Gothic in the background. The double sampler there, I think has done very well indeed. I mean, look at that. That is definitely a pixel art style. Whoa, very nice, very nice. The single sampler, not quite as good. Not quite as good. It's definitely got the woman there from American Gothic, but the actual style, not not really the full on pixel art that we oh. I mean, you kind of know when it's the regular model, don't you? That's no, that's no. Are you impressed by pixel wave yet? No. All right. Well, well, we'll just show you a few more then. So this is a painting which features amazing brush strokes and deep colors. It should have a time traveling beaver from the 1960s who's trying to purchase a mobile phone from a melon with googly eyes on it. The split sigma sampler once again to start with. And there definitely a very, very smiley face. We've got the melon with the googly eyes stuck on it. He's trying to purchase a mobile phone. All right. Yeah. Pass. I'll give that a big pass. There, the single sampler. It is. It is very good. It's definitely the style. He's outside the shop as it's given it an awning and the melon is a bit weird, but it's definitely, definitely got the style. And I think we all know which model that is and how well it's done. All of those so far have been with the suggested resolutions, but can it go any higher? So here I'm trying 1136 by 1408. The prompt this time is for a Rococo style, and I'm looking for a man wearing a floppy hat, and hopefully he should have a very large handlebar moustache. Even though we're not using the recommended resolution, I think that has done, well, yes, that's, that's fine, that's a painting. He hasn't got a massive 
handlebar moustache, but it is pretty good. And the hat's reasonably floppy. I like it. I like it. Single sampler version. Also very good. Very nice moustache. Very good hat there. Yep, I'm liking that one. And hello, regular flux. Changing the resolution once again. So now I'm up to 1920 by 1088. This one a lot more complex because I'm asking for abstract art. Does it even know what that is? Well, we can take a look and see. Well, it seems to have handled the large resolution fairly well. That's a very nice painting style. It's got the painting on there, but it's not really abstract, is it? It's not really abstract. How about the single sampler? I like the explosion. That's almost, almost abstract, but it's still not quite. And I think you can probably guess what the regular old Flux does. I mean, it's followed the prompt. It's got the nuclear explosion and it does say Flux face, but that is in no way abstract art. Overall, then, I think it has an absolutely boatload more styles than the original Flux model. And as a bonus, you don't get that Flux face quite as often. So there is a double sampler. There's the single sampler. And there's your regular Flux face and chin and nose and all that sort of stuff. So it looks like it is at least possible now to have a little bit less of that Flux face. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way. 